Well, hello, Gon aficionados. This time I'm going to make a, a presentation of the Worn, and this is going to be the One Piece Generation 2 Extended Skeletonized Modular Sniper Rifle Scope Mount. As the name itself implies, it's going to be a one piece. You don't have to mess anymore with the two rings separately that has been traditionally used for mounting scopes on the top. You don't have to be worried anymore about the funny tubes that they have to be aligned and the tip has to be concentric and everything. You don't have to be worried about lapping anymore. It is already implied, it is already measured, verified. It's a really peace of mind if you are a military. Uh, the colors that this one comes available is going to be the regular tactic colors that everybody uses. It's going to be the black, the olive drab, the uh, green, and the flat dark earth. They also have the civilian color for competitors. That's going to be the blue and the red, but they're really going to draw a lot of attention if you are a tactic cool guy. Uh, the main feature that people buy this one, besides the you don't have to worry anymore about the alignment and all that, is that it uh, uses the X skeletonite X scale uh, construction. As you can tell, a lot of material was removed internally and all over, so that it makes the weight extremely light. It is barely 6.7 ounces, not even a pound, and it's also built from aluminum 60, 67. It's extremely sturdy and resistant. Highly recommended for police. Or military it's been traditionally and it's been widely used by US uh, snipers it's uh, for the MSR by Remington and the Remington 2010 which uses the Remington 700 Winchester Magnum so you're talking about a beast it is robust and at the same time it is extremely lightweight so that's one of the features that the active or com military snipers or competitors they look for robust and very lightweight uh, the specifications on the for torquing the top screws is going to be 25 inches per pound and the sideways is going to be 65 that's why I would highly recommend to get one of those adjustable wrench to verify that's still within specification the tube diameter this one I'm using a 30 millimeter tube diameter but they also make them for 34 millimeter tube diameter for the Remington sniper rifle system so they use the loophole scope on the top or you can use any vortex or any 34 millimeter tube diameter. This is a 30, you cannot get a 20, a 34 millimeter. This one I opted for, a, it doesn't have any elevation. This is the zero MOA. They also make the 20 MOA elevation to give you some extra uh, elevation when taking an extended shot. However, you gotta make sure you got plenty of uh, adjustment on your scope before you get the 20 MOA. I will do some videos some time ahead about it. This is proudly made in the United States. This is something that people, you know, you got bragging rights on that side. Uh, all right, friends, this is all I got to show for you. I hope you guys enjoy the video as usually. Like, subscribe, and share with your friends so it helps my channel grow. I'm not allowed to leave any link on the bottom because of YouTube policies, and I really don't want my channel to be banned. Uh, I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for your time and God bless you all. <laughs>